Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, trends, and innovations from thought leaders from within the digital infrastructure industry. And we are coming at you live from PTC 2025 in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. And this good looking guy next to me is Mr. John Baron Brook. I got it, right? Baron Brook. You got it. Yep. Perfect. And John is, John, what's your title? What do you do over there? I'm Director of Product Management for Starline. The Director of Product Management for Starline. John. Welcome to JSA TV. It's my pleasure to be here. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Absolutely my pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. How's the show going for you? Yeah, we've had a great show. Um, lots of good questions, lots of good clients, lots of good discussions. I mean, really exciting time to be part of this industry. Outstanding. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about Starline? So Starline is a leading manufacturer of power distribution equipment for over rack equipment. So, you know, we are the last piece of the chain to power up the servers, really. Okay, so the reason why I love that question and the way you addressed it is because you said the last piece of the chain, and there are a ton of links in that chain. Am I right? You're right, yeah. Um, the, the general theme of the entire show, for me, at least from my seat, has been collaboration in that no one piece is a final solution. Um, um, no hundred pieces are the ultimate solution, but there are myriad companies working together in concert to make the service work. Where exactly does Starline fit in to that, uh, to that puzzle? So, um, you know, we make uh, a, a busway product and, uh -huh. and our busway is, you know, the most flexible on the market. So, and, and that's how we started 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, 30 years is an eternity. It's an eternity. Industry. And we, and we right. were the first to market with our type of product. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, the challenges, uh, you know, back then, um, are, are so vastly different than they are today. Yeah. You know, it's a different AI game and a in, different game in, in the, the, Kilowatts per rack back then were not much different than, you know, powering up your computer <laughs> in your house and not very dangerous. Right. <laughs> and so the things that we're working on today, you know, when we're talking about, you know, going from three kilowatts per rack yeah. to 120 to 300 kilowatts per rack. Yeah. And by the way, the racks really aren't any bigger in most cases. So how do you how do you address those challenges? The danger factor yeah. does it's, seem like it's, it's increasing yeah. exponentially. Yeah. So. So that's what we're dealing with today. Yeah. yeah. No, um, excellent. D uh, power distribution challenges. That's the yeah. big one right there. Yeah. Absolutely. yeah. So um, we, are, we also, oh, so AI, and you mentioned it. So how is AI changing that game? Obviously, the densities and things like that. How does it change the game from your seat? So I, I mentioned it. So the, the racks are staying the same. The power is getting more dense. And so you have some physics problems, right? Power creates heat. Uh, but you know, our, the clients and our customers, the end users, um, they're, they're, there's footprints not changing. So yeah. what we really have to do is, is design a way to get that same power and that same footprint. So that's, that's challenge number one. So we have a teams of engineers just working on those challenges all day long. Number two is how do you do it safely? So we have some innovative new products. We call it, um, our rotating paddle. And basically all it is, is a, is a way to, to move away from the equipment as you're going live to get out of any dangerous zones so that you can you can get away from the electrical energy and, 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 and power up your equipment. That's so, the first kind of conversation that I've had about that um, all, all week. So um, no, interesting, getting away from it to make sure that it is safe so that, I mean, if it's not safe, it can't be deployed. Right, and, and we go above and beyond, and that's not to yeah. say that our equipment's yeah. not safe. We go in above and beyond to make sure our equipment's safe, it's tested, of safety course. standards, all of that. It's an extra layer, we call it belt and suspenders, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, the belt is just equipment safe. The suspenders is we have a remote actuation tool that you can attach to our product. Uh, it, it actuates it, it rotates it into our busway, and then you can step outside of the arc flash zone, we call it, and then and you can be live. So that's that's one of the innovations that we've been working on. Mm -hmm. We showed it here. A lot of a lot of a lot of great interest in it. Awesome. Uh, it, we don't let anybody leave the, the JSA TV hot seat without talking about uh, one of our core pillars. Sustainability is one of those. And I understand uh, that you guys have a bit of a, uh, a sustainability play as well. Absolutely. And, and this is something I'm super proud of. You know, um, a lot of stuff going on in the world uh, today, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but Legrand has made it their core value. And this goes the whole way up to our CEO, that we will be the most sustainable company in the world. And so that, that's, that's aggressive and it, and it filters <laughs> yeah. down the star line. And I'll tell you, it's, it's a challenge to do, um, sustainability. So we do a couple different things. We, we have full transparency we call them, um, peps. So product environmental profiles, and it can tell you our carbon footprint from manufacture into its life uh, use, uh, life cycle. Mm -hmm. And so, um, that's one of the things we do for our customers to say, all right, what is the actual carbon print of your data center? 
we can tell you what the carbon footprint of our little part of that is. Yeah. Um, additionally, we do things like getting uh, rid of um, single use plastics, uh, reducing packaging. And so we're across the board. We have very aggressive targets dictated to us by Legrand. I love it. John, that's uh, that's our time. Awesome. Amazing. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for being with us. Uh, it's my pleasure. Thank Out you. Outstanding. And thank you viewers for watching JSA TV. Stay curious, stay connected, and we'll see you very soon.